Three seconds left. Gates in. Takes a shot. Scores! With point five seconds. Right down the middle. And he goes to back to the score! Lips walks in, shoots, and scores! Rustling, all by himself. Zach Rustling scores! Holy moly, Zach Rustling, what a goal! Hello, this is Andy Dickerson with Black Dog Enterprises, here to bring you highlights from our coverage of the fourth annual Throwback Classic. We'll start in the expert division in the first of two semifinals. This one between the top-ranked Wookiees and the fourth-ranked San Diego Skates. The Wookiees controlled this one from the outset with six goals in the first period, including a natural hat trick by Patrick Yen. Back toward the middle, feeds the right wing, walking in, they shoot, they score! Patrick Yen picks the top corner perfectly. Back into the skate zone. Skates D trying to move it away from Moore, but Moore picks it up, centers it, shoots, and it's in. Impressive indeed, but the Wookiees were led by Gabriel Kablian, who had two goals and five assists. Wing they come. Carried ahead. Kablian shoots. And that's another Wookiee goal to see the effect of being out on the ice almost the full time, starting to wear on the skates. Pass across the ice, shot, and he picks the corner beautifully. Brian Weininger. The Wookiees dominated the shorthanded skates from start to finish and came away with the 13-3 victory. In the other semifinal, the Breakaway Bulls took on Hockey Fights Cancer, and it was a back-and-forth affair all the way through. Jonathan Stover led the Bulls with two goals and two assists, including this shorthanded marker in the first period. Got one defender to beat, and he beat him. In on that, Laurie, and he goes five holes, scores shorthanded to tie this game up at a goal apiece. Hockey Fights Cancer fought back in the second period, though, scoring four goals, including this one from Jonathan Milhouse. A two-on-one break. White moving in. Backdoor pass. Shot. They score! Thomas the got Bulls away. battled back with Here two goals in the He'll third period, but Maybe Hockey Fights Cancer goalie Rob Laurie stood tall, making 35 saves to help secure the 6-5 victory. Side. Newton gets a slip pass around the goaltender, loses it. Shot by Silver. What a it save. Hurts. What a save. That effort set up the championship game a short while later as the Wookiees took on Hockey Fights Cancer. The Wookiees scored two goals in the first two minutes and never looked back, coming away with a 4 2 victory. Four different goal scorers and six players total recorded points. So the time ticks down to nothing. Wookiees win the expert level throwback classic here at the rinks in Anaheim on the Olympic sheet. In the intermediate division semifinals, Poundtown Express beat up on DVDA 13 to five to earn their berth in the championship game. They were never really challenged in this one, amassing a nine to two lead before cruising to a 13 to five victory. As Poundtown breaks in the offensive zone, led by Monesi, drags pass, lifts that high, backhanded chance in the crease, another chance, rebound scores. In the other semifinal, Nutch and Sam faced off against Emma's team. I apologize, we don't have video to show you of that one, but I can tell you Nutch and Sam won 10 to five, thanks to a trio of forwards, Brandon Hammer, Mike Nemzek, and Ethan Lever, who had seven, six, and six points apiece. Lever getting a hat trick and three assists, and that offensive outpouring led them to the big victory over Emma's team, which then guided them to the championship game against Poundtown Express. That championship game, as you can see, 15 to 11 in the highest scoring game of the playoff round here. Brian Voot and Andrew Manessi were the big guns for the Poundtown Express. Seven goals for Monesi on an eight-point game. Foot with four goals and two assists. Those two definitely led the way for Poundtown. The right side. Some great stick handling, and it's in. An amazing goal. On the other side, the same trio that helped get Nutch and Sand to the championship almost got them a victory here. Ethan Lever with a goal and six assists. Mike Nemzik, five goals 
Brandon Hammer a hat trick of his own, but it just wasn't enough as Poundtown Express skated away with the championship victory in the intermediate division. Next, we left the friendly confines of the rinks at Anaheim Ice, headed down the road to where the Big Ducks play at the Honda Center. In the novice division, the Bakersfield Fog shut out the riot 6-0 to punch their ticket to the championship game. The big standout in this one was number 96, John Wren, who had five of the Fog's six goals. It came right to Bons. Bons has had a nice game as well. Here's a shot. Oh, and Wren scores again. Bons put it. Add in 27 saves by Garrett Taylor, and the Fog came away with the shutout victory. That led to our second semifinal in division between the Money Shots and the Ninjas. The lower-seeded and undermanned Money Shots controlled this one from the outset, scoring two goals in the first period and riding that lead to victory. Tad O'Neill and Corey Hunt led the way offensively. O'Neill shot. Oh, he scores! Right up over the right shoulder of Reed. Of the checking nature have been in this game tonight. O'Neill shot scores. With 10 seconds left, wraps it up. It's five to two. We'll see. If so the money shots advanced to the championship game, where they faced off against the Bakersfield Fog. The money shots got two more goals from Tad O'Neill to jump out to an early two nothing lead. Carried in, splitting the defense, another beauty, and it's put home by the money shots once again, Tad O'Neill. But the Fog were able to come away with the victory thanks to a couple of Scots, Scott McNitt and Scott Vaughns. Shot on goal, Smith, another save, swept wide of him on the rebound, behind the goal, and it's in! Plays there for Bakersfield Fog, but they can't capitalize. Brought again ahead by John Wren. Wren shoots and scores! Wren, who had five goals in their semifinal game, scored what would turn out to be the game winner with 4.30 remaining there to give the Bakersfield Fog the come from behind victory and the novice championship. Finally, we move into the beginner division. First, the Argonne Bulls took on the Orange County Crush, and it was all Bulls in this one. Eight to one the final score, 55 to 20 the shot totals in favor of the Argonne Bulls. Matt Katz led the way with a hat trick. Charging into the offensive zone, backhand forehand scores! Space, the covered space, wrist shot and scores! And in our last semifinal of the weekend, Caustic took on the Never Will Bees. It was a close one throughout, one nothing until the third period, but three goals from Caustic, including two from Nick Mamich, Sealed a 4-0 victory for Caustic. Supporting hockey. Caustic with a chance here. Goes back in and scores. Its possession turns away. Does Nick Mamick. Passes across. Shoots and scores. Well, and that set up the beginner championship between Caustic and the Argonne Bulls. And boy was that one a dandy. As the game was dominated by two players, one on each side, Jeff Garrick with four goals for Caustic, and Matt Katz, three goals and an assist for the Argonne Bulls. Matt Katz, not Mad Katz, right? No, no, sir. But I tell you what, if I were Matt Katz, that's what I would tell people to say. And now it's shot in an innocent looking little flick from Jeff Garrick, and he's got himself a hat trick. Garrick would score in the third period to tie it up, and that led to a dramatic shootout. Coming in up the far side. He shoots, and it's kicked aside by Navrella. All right, who else? Jeff Garrick taking the first shot. Man with the plan. Coming in. Garrick shoots. Big save by Dolan. Next up for the Argonne Bulls, skating in on his forehand. Backhand, he shoots. He scores. Matt Katz. Deposits the third puck of this game behind Navrella. Mamich crossing the blue line on his forehand. Pulls the trigger and shoots it wide. Next player tapped, Chris Larson. He crosses the blue line, walking in. Larson goes wide, shoots it, scores! Can't find the twine behind Dolan. 
And despite a four goal effort from Jeff Garrick, including late heroics to tie it up, he tied it up twice actually with his hat trick and then fourth goal. The game goes to the Argonne Bulls. The number one seeded team here knocks off the number three and takes the beginner title at the fourth annual Throwback Classic. Well, that pretty much does it for us here at Black Dog Enterprises. Thank you very much for watching. Congrats to all the participants and the champions for a great tournament. We were happy to be a part of it. DVD copies of every game from the uh, semifinal and finals available for purchase from our website, blackdogenterprises.org. Once again, I'm Andy Dickerson. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.